Hey Virgo, welcome back to your reading. This is going to be the week ahead, July 29th through August 4th. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe. Uh, personal reading, text or phone call readings are available. The link is in the description box below. And uh, yeah, let's get into this and see what messages are showing up here for you for the week. Whatever shows up, that's what shows up, right? Right. Okay. Let's get, let me get one more. All right. So I have spy, liar, someone else, intuition, and a confession. What? All right. Somebody's watching you this week. They got their eye on you. Okay. Or you're, you might be doing some kind of research. Maybe you're working on a research project this week as well. Let's take a look. Who's spying on Virgo? Who's got their eye on you this weekend? Watching you like very, very closely. Okay. Could be an, an earth sign. Uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This could also be someone who um, doing a background check on you for work or for... Uh, an investment as well okay could be a business person the king of pentacles as you know can represent someone who's all about material things or business right and it could be uh someone that you know uh, on a personal level who's watching you let's take a look here so the king of pentacles is all about the money all about the benjamins all about the coins <clears throat> let's take a look here all right wow for some of you this king of pentacles uh sun moon rising or venus it does feel like they're looking at it's kind of weird um one more oh so there is okay so there is someone who's looking at you on a on a personal level to see if there's something starting with you and another person <coughs> excuse me they're sorry are they trying to get information to see if you and someone else are coming together in a very physical way okay so on the love front yeah i do kind of feel like there is somebody who's watching you and they're waiting they're waiting to see if you're going to accept an offer that comes in from somebody else or if they they so i don't know are you kind of keeping your options open virgo or you're just looking around doing your own research looking to see you know and as far as like uh relationships or dating looking to see if there's anybody else out there, I know some of you might not be, but I just feel like there is someone here. They could also be a fire sign, but they are looking to see if you're going to go with another person or if you're going to accept some other offer as well. Yeah, look. Now, they are telling me that this can also relate to some kind of business or job corporation or something along those lines, right? So someone might be looking you up to see like your work history your resume do a background check on you as well before they make an offer so there's this like kind of delaying stuff right now as well but i feel like i hope i'm articulating my words properly i feel like there isn't a let, let me summarize it because <laughs> it's so confusing there is someone else one or two other people okay outside they're external to you who are thinking about making an offer to you but they're waiting okay they're 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 delaying it right now because they don't know if if you have if you've accepted an offer from someone else whether this is a relationship or work career stuff okay money anything like that right they're they're looking they're doing some investigating yes yes absolutely and this has to do with a commitment between two people. Are you going to commit elsewhere or are you? will you be open to committing to them? Even marriage for the relation. So, you know, even marriage can be taken 
in a personal relationship, but sometimes we could be married to, you know, when we come to contract, like with a job or an investment or something like that, right? <clears throat> I do feel like this is all behind the scenes, this person who's looking at you. Like I said, it could be a fire sign, it could be an earth sign. It doesn't have to be their sun, it could be their moon, their rising, or their Venus, okay? Um, so there is this stepping back to see watching you spying on you to see what's going on what's been going on or what is going on and this person is coming to a decision this week yep about making this offer now it, i feel like for some of you this might come in um on august 2nd they're telling me so that would be friday upcoming friday around august 2nd okay they are going to make an offer so whether this is for a job or an investment it have to do with money or a relationship or committed type of a partnership yes but this person is gathering all the information <clears throat> they're gathering everything making a decision they're gathering, I don't want to say evidence, but they're picking up, they're gathering all this information on you. Okay, because I feel like if you've already accepted an offer from someone else, they're not, <clears throat> they're not going to come forward. They're not going to fight. They're not going to chase. Okay, so that's the first message that's coming in for this week. Okay, now you also have liar. Be careful of someone sneaky. All right. Yeah, so you won't have to be too, too careful because this person is going to be completely exposed for being a liar. Could be a Leo. Doesn't have to be. Okay, four of wands reduced to the three of wands. Mm. So I feel like there is some family that, you're, that you are at a distance to. So maybe you, a geographical distance, emotional distance, whatever it might be. Some family is going to expose someone who is sneaky in the family or has been lying about something, okay? And there is an energy of waiting to hear back or finding out about this. I don't feel... For, for some Virgos here, I don't feel like you are, I feel like you're away from these people or person. You're away from someone and something's going to come out. It could be something to do with a marriage. Yeah, there's truth for sure. You're going to get some communication about someone connected to your family or ha who has another family elsewhere. <clears throat> it's going to come out in the open. Mm. You know, I see, I'm hearing, I regret, I, I, I'm regretting to, I regret, I feel remorseful about this. For not telling you i feel remorseful for lying about this this is what i'm hearing i don't know if this is someone's going to confess this to you because you do have a confession here or if they're going to fess up you know well it's the same thing just kind of there's a lot of regret and remorse and oh okay so spirit's now saying there is also someone who now this is completely different message completely different there's also someone that there's a distance between you and it feels like there's a romantic partner that you're at a distance to who is going to come in with like a truth bomb and tell you that they've been lying to you. They've been covering up, which is weird. The fact that They've, okay, they're saying they, that they, they want to be with you. They really want to be with you. 
like with this four of wands and they want to connect with you right somebody's been lying they've been hiding how they truly feel about you and it's going to come out this week okay so now they're telling me this is going to show up on thursday august 1st it could be connected to this the spying thing someone's really like sad and they've been hiding this the sadness and there's communication coming into towards you that they want to try to work on the problems overcome these obstacles or these problems these issues okay there's also someone who's waiting for you i just heard somebody's waiting for you so the lie has been about not being honest and upfront with their feelings about you okay they've been kind of sneaky maybe beating around the bush that's what i feel like that message is but the first message is a little bit different it has more to do with like your family or a connection to your family where you find something out from some family members about someone in your family who has been a bit sneaky or lying could be lying about a pregnancy they may have lied that they went and got married or they eloped or something along those lines okay and um there is an element of sadness attached to that uh some grief about lying about that okay so the overall message i know i'm giving you specifics the overall message sometime around the first somebody's going to come in and, and tell the truth about what they've been hiding from you i do not feel like this person is malicious i feel they've been hiding to protect themselves or protect you if that makes any sense i hope you can understand that i don't feel like someone is lying maliciously to hurt you or to see you suffer it's kind of feels more along the lines of like you know when you ask someone if you look good in this in this dress and the the person responds with a white lie because they don't want to have problems they, they because and partially they do think you look good in the dress um but they're they're not gonna there's a bit of diplomacy this person's not gonna say well you know it's a little tight or maybe you should get a larger size like you know what i mean who does that right if somebody does that i mean yeah it's truth but i feel like this person there's a little bit of a white lie that's what i'm trying to say so i don't feel like it's malicious to hurt you like it's not a narcissist who's going to turn around and say <clears throat> well the color looks great on you <clears throat> but i i think you would be better in a large because you know it, it looks like that might be more flattering you know what i mean that's like a backhand compliment this doesn't feel like this it's more of um beating around the bush so as not to have any drama across problems however I do feel like this truth is going to come out and there's sorrow and grief about not being truthful with you and a desire to overcome the problems because of this, <clears throat> excuse me, hiding energy. I don't know what is going on in my throat. All right, there's somebody else. You also have this showing up here. Someone is in the middle. Someone is trying to sabotage a personal relationship this week. Okay. Wow, these are great messages. Hey. <clears throat> Okay. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, listen. <clears throat> you got some... You got some work gossip going on this week. Yes. This is connected to your work. While you're busy doing your job, doing your work, doing whatever you're doing, you do have people standing around the water cooler you know just a phrase talking about you there's definitely three there's three something to do with your work your skills your craft what you're doing your work and trying to sabotage a relationship that you have with a co-worker all right whether it's male or female let's take a look yes 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 somebody's pissed off because they feel like they have to do everything 
at this job or at this work, okay? There's another person who is, maybe you're their boss. There's another person who feels overburdened, overworked, and instead of coming to you and asking for help or saying how they feel, that they feel overwhelmed or just burdened by something, they're going to other people or another person and just sidestepping and talking about not so much about you as a person but they're trying to gain support for their self-righteousness rather than just because I feel like if the person came to you to talk to you about how they're feeling Virgo is the first person always it's gonna be like okay what's going on you know Virgo is a sign of service Virgo wants to help you know, and if someone feels that they are feeling overburdened, tell Virgo. Virgo will find a way to, to help, to fix, to delegate, whatever it is. But this person, okay, we do have the Empress. This person might be older. There's a, There might be a little bit of jealousy as well. Um, Okay. If you have a connection with the opposite sex or I don't even know what's called anymore. This could have like this could be a work romance situation as well for some of you. If you have like um you know, I'm just hearing they're saying like work wife work husband they're giving me that those phrases a work wife a work husband that someone feels it's inappropriate also because this is the empress is the wife card or you know up there someone feels that the, uh, there's a relationship also that's inappropriate and they're, they're gossiping about it or they're trying to sabotage it yeah oh man this is drama oh Oh, okay. <laughs> now, now they're giving me more here. They're saying that there's another person in your within your colleagues or something. They're gossiping and they're they're saying that you and another person are physical with each other. Man, the rumor mill. It's the rumor mill. I'm telling you. Now, this might not be happening directly to you. You might find out about this. You might be standing around the water cooler yourself, not gossiping, or maybe you are. I hope not. But if you are, um, this is going to come out this week. They're telling me um, the, on the 3rd now, August 3rd, or, or it's July 30th. It's one or the other, but something's coming out this week. There's some gossip going around, and either it involves you or you hear about it but it does have an effect on you and your and your work your your job okay so my advice <laughs> focus on your work performance focus on your skills your social skills with people try not to get involved put on an act is what i'm hearing okay here's the emperor yeah here's the gossip you want to put on um so they're saying you want to put on an act of oh like kind of like don't get involved put on an act of detachment that's what i'm hearing i'm hearing don't get involved because it's going to affect your so i always like to say you know you could do your job really well but if you have no people skills at work, people don't give a shit about your job. <laughs> it's always that way. Um, people, that's why we have human resources in our, because it's all about a, our community and ability to get along with other people. You know, relationships are good relationships make our, make our jobs better. And if you work with a lot of people, I know some of you might work at home and so you know you're on your own and that's fine this feels more like connected to a community of people that you work with so if if you're really good at your job but you're 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 bad with your relationships with other people yeah your job will get done but 
there isn't going to be a lot of support from other people. You know what I mean? So I feel like your your advice here with this situation, like I said, is just to kind of just be pleasant and friendly with people. Don't get involved. Um, if you're standing around the water cooler, maybe back out from that a little bit so you don't get dragged in it. Somebody might be coming to you and asking you if you heard, if you heard so, so and so say this or say that just kind of like you, you don't need to be this anybody's savior just back out of it because your 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 job could technically be at risk if you get involved in some kind of gossip or drama all right that was a long message i'm really sorry i went on with that but there you go all right you also have confession someone has to tell you something okay so in regards to the liar situation in regards to the spy in regards to this work thing there is a confession that's coming out okay all right somebody wants to heal a relationship that they were apathetic to okay that they were not engaging in this is what i'm hearing okay someone's coming forward um someone who rejected you they want to heal this okay let's take a look oh yeah i'm hearing uh somebody's ego was completely blown to smithereens And there's a desire to fix, to heal a relationship, okay? Uh, let's see. Been thinking about it for a really long time. It could be a Scorpio. We do have the tower. Um, there, uh, And also, I just want to say, I forgot to tell you, Libra, Taurus, and Aries on the job thing, okay? And also Gemini. So there is a confession. Somebody's been weighing things out. They don't want to be single. Um, there's this someone wanting to recover the relationship this is the confession um and this feels mostly like what i was talking about earlier but also there's an energy of um wanting to heal the four of swords wanting to heal not have any conflict someone has been thinking about it for a while could be a virgo thinking about this for a while and and oh okay could be a water sign cancer or pisces yep definitely wanting to heal this relationship so i feel like you're going to hear something from someone uh it could be on the 31st or august 1st um there's a renewal and hope someone's going to try to breathe hope back into a relationship and and confess to you that um they were dismissive or rejecting you and perhaps you did the same in return and it was like what <sighs> that kind of energy somebody's like what you know yeah hmm that's interesting okay so as far as a confession goes expect to hear something somebody's going to open up to you and tell you i don't know if it's so much how they feel but it does feel more along the lines of like i gotta confess when you walked away from me when you just moved on it really made me realize like it was like a bolt of lightning like a piano fell out of the window and just hit me right on the head like I almost lost my life when when that happened i came to realize that how i was treating you being dismissive and rejecting you i lost everything i lost everything so there is this energy of wanting to uh, somebody coming forward to confess to you all of that to you and try to you know heal this relationship so you do have intuition the red flags you ignore now will come back to bite later okay so your intuition is screaming at you about a king of swords which is an air sign um about the red flags i'm hearing don't ignore like this king of swords comes walking in with like they're wearing a gigantic red flag and your intuition knows it but this person may have come in with like extreme love bombing or extreme they came in very fast and then began to breadcrumb i feel like you you're 
this person may be showing up this week so this comes across to me as a gemini aquarius could be a libra this person shows up and your intuition is going to be screaming oh no here comes the red flag here comes that walking red flag okay marching right on in with these cupid's arrows but the red flag what i feel like here again as a libra in energy right there somebody like wearing a red cloak right this person comes in real crazy and then they these are two opposing energies here the eight of wands is real fast movement it's like bombarding you bombardment and then the six of pentacles is just a little bit here it's a little breadcrumbing this person has this differing energy is what i feel like maybe that's the red flag that you need to pay attention to this person one day is all over you and then the next day they're they're being reciprocal they're giving but they're not giving a lot so there's this cycle this back and forth energy yeah you need to take a look at that and you may you may actually see it this week and not uh, see their actions see their behavior not necessarily look at yourself and be like okay well it so i feel like there's they're giving me the word intermittent reinforcement somebody here does this intermittent reinforcement trick with you mixed it's mixed energy you taking a look at this yeah what yeah somebody comes in here or they show up or they're in your life and this is what they do they do a complete cut off and then they apologize and then, then it's like a cycle they cut you off and then they apologize cut you off and then they apologize and then, and then and it's back and forth this isn't you i feel like this is not something that you need to own you're not causing this didn't cause it can't fix it can't cure it you can't like this is what i feel like these red flags are that you need to pay attention to this is how somebody else operates um it's kind of like if you're standing on the side of the road you know i always do these weird analogies i just see like you know a tornado is a tornado it's it's you can't stop it you can't change it you can't fix it you're just in the path of it and all you can do is remove yourself to get out of harm's way you have to save yourself that's what i'm hearing so whatever the deal is with this person that shows up here trust your intuition about this don't own it it's not you you don't have to do anything better you don't have to fix everything you don't have to change yourself this is this is a tornado just goes through your life they come and then you know how they are tornadoes come up a certain season and then they they just show up wherever they show up they show up and they come in like a roaring lion and then when they leave you know there's like everything's the rain dripping off the, the the wood that's scattered all over the place it's just and then it just gets peaceful and quiet so to speak you know like a roaring train that comes in i feel like you just need your message here is recognize this don't own it that's not you this it's not you gotta be like it's not me that's you babe and just be like you know this is how this person is and i just gotta get out of the harm's way out of the path of this energy of this person whoever they might be to you it's a it's the cards that are showing me here are very contrasting you know look at this this eight of wands like boom 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 coming in fast and then just kind of the remains just giving the remains like breadcrumbs you know that's left over and then here they are again cutting you off and then coming in real sweet very messed up energy take a look at that virgo take a look at that energy pay attention to that look at it realistically um logically not emotionally yeah that's the message so you might have like a, a little bit of a like boom kind of moment like wow is that what something is that what this is and i just keep hearing spirit keeps saying it's not you um you might have owned someone's behavior you might have thought maybe somewhere with this energy that it was your fault or that you caused it or that you can change it or that you need to fix it i don't feel like that's i don't feel like that's the message yeah definitely not so this is for the week now hold on a second i just want to see 
what your money situation, career, what advice you need for your career, for money, for your finances this week, whatever shows up here. Okay, let me just get a few more. Hi, everybody in the chat. Hope you're doing well. Hope you guys had a great weekend for sure. I can't believe we're into August already. Going in this week. Okay. All right. Let's see. What do you have this week? Okay. So Virgos for my finances, my, my business Virgos. Wish come true. Your wish is being granted, but it may not come in the way you expected. No worries. It is just what you needed. So that's a really good sign. So there's something coming to you this week. Um, it may not be what you expect it to be, but it's going to be exactly what you need. So that's another way of saying it may not be what you wanted, but it's definitely going to be what you need. You also have movement. You'll make good progress now and you'll be able to overcome any obstacles in your path. Big leaps forward are possible. This is all stemming from some kind of wish that's coming true. You have guidance. Divine forces are showing you the way to go. You are discovering another piece of your destiny and your purpose in life. So trust. I always like to say, you know what? Whatever's meant for me, just show me the path, please. You also have renewal. You need to take time to recharge your energy to get back on track. Challenges ahead require you to have faith and breakthrough. And many choices. You're going to have options because of this wish that comes true. Even if you don't see them right now, get creative and look around. Pull a card for each option to see what's best. Okay. My card's bossy. Pull a card. Let's take a look. Two options. All right, you got drama. Beware of troublemakers in the workplace, Virgo. The job you want may have too much upheaval to bear. Keep emotions and gossip in check. And you also have influence. Use your influence for change. You may do public speaking, social videos, social videos or interviews. Your voice and opinions are important. So look, <clears throat> we were talking about drama and I felt like you need, look at that, look at that dude. He's like going to attack. I feel like your, your message is the same as far as workplace drama. Um, stay out of it and focus on where you have influence. Okay. Yeah, that could be part of your wishes coming true. But I feel like that doesn't really make sense now. Now it's just telling me you have influence and power, Virgo. It's a quiet influence and power that you possess. The things that you say, Virgo, people listen to you. So make sure that you're directing your words very carefully and strategically, especially if you get caught up in some kind of workplace drama or involved with other troublemakers. <clears throat> I feel like the message with that is speak good of everyone. If you have to speak, speak good of everyone, even those who are causing problems. That way you stay out of the drama because people will listen to you. I don't know why you need to hear that, but people will listen to you. Okay, this got on a little longer than I expected. You do have a Libra and a Cancer who's going to be significant to you this week. Uh, someone's born in 76. We have someone who's 39. Someone's 51. Be careful of being doxxed on the internet. I just said, okay, someone's 56. September 15th, September 11th, August 23rd. If I called your birthday, or your age or your year of birth September 3rd this is a, uh, a reading especially for you um, yeah <clears throat> be careful of somebody doxing or putting your information so that may not be malicious it could be just make sure that your <clears throat> how can I say your information online is private so if you need to like sift through stuff or do like a check just be careful of um, people attempting to not only get information on you, which I saw, but also <clears throat> be careful of people putting that information out there online. You know what I mean? I don't know. You got to pay attention to that. 
like your address or you know where you work and things like that um there's something going on with cgi this week whatever the hell that means i don't really know much about that cgi picks or ai picks pictures ai is going to be significant this week for someone could be positive could be negative i don't know and someone feels like a like a cog in the wheel of somebody's life right someone feels like a cog in the wheel like now that could be good because being a cog in the wheel just means you're part of something that has movement forward and progress but somebody might want to break out on their own and be more independent you might want that break out on your own and be independent and go on your own something creative something new in your life um Also, there's something here to do with cigarettes this week. I'm hearing there's something significant to do with cigarettes. Siggies. I don't know what that means. Is there something about cigarettes? Either you're going to start smoking or you're going to quit or you're going to switch, I guess, vape. Um... I have no opinion on either none of my business but there's something here significant about cigarettes this week and yeah i think that's oh let's see if we can have any so i heard the name paul um someone is a general practitioner someone's name is doc someone maybe it's a nickname or a name oh where'd these come from i didn't even see those okay someone's name is doc significant um okay they just told me oh they're giving me one 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 if you see 111 or 1111 a lot this week you need to pay attention there's a message is a message that's trying to get through to you from your spirit guides they're trying to send you a message pay attention ask what is the message and they'll reveal it to you Okay, someone is in Ocean City. Uh, Diane, I heard the name Diane or Diana or D-I, Di. Okay, someone's an OG. <laughs> an OG. And I just heard Deborah or Debbie. Deborah. Okay, general practitioner doc, seeing a doc as well. All right. Oh, and someone's also um, lives in Cape Cod, and someone's also a police officer. All right, let's get your charms. Okay, so you have a seashell, so there's a connection to the sea, a, sea, a clam shell. Connection to a clam, a clam shell, clams. Maybe you're going to eat some clams. You like mussels? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right, you also have a fairy. So there is a connection. Someone has a connection to fairies. Tinkerbell. And um, was it Tinkerbell from Peter Pan? Was it? I think it was. I can't remember, really. And we also have Alice, like Alice in Wonderland. Or Alice. Somebody might be cosplaying, dressing up. I don't know if anybody dresses up like her, but or it's a costume. Or is in a play of some sort um, someone has long blonde hair is baking someone's baking I'm hearing you also have a key with a bunch of hearts on it so I'm seeing a family of four buying a home getting the keys to a home family of four <clears throat> whoever those members are I don't know there's also oh butterfly very significant um i feel like okay that's such a weird message now i don't even know i've never seen this before but i'm hearing you might see a butterfly with four wings right don't they have two somebody's gonna see that's a very rare thing it could be a butterfly with a little butterfly on top of it but i don't know they just keep telling me four wings so an anomaly, some kind of freak butterfly, <laughs> you might see. It, it could be a real butterfly. It could be a picture of a butterfly. Let me just give you your Chinese signs, and then we're going to go to see which, which Virgo here. 
am I speaking with? Your Chinese signs. Okay, year of the ox, year of the rat, year of the rabbit, year of the pig, year of the tiger, year of the horse, year of the snake, and year of the rooster. So if that's your Chinese sign right there, then this message is more significantly geared towards you. But if I didn't call your sign, that doesn't mean it's not your reading. So keep that in the back of your mind. All right, you guys. So I will see you back here tomorrow. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Don't forget, if you want to book readings, you can. Links in the description box below. Also, check out my timeless readings. They're all in the description box below. Just go click on the box below hit the more button and just go look and see you can get like virgo with capricorn i think i don't know if i have that up yet but you know virgo with taurus timeless love readings see how those relationships are playing out all right you guys love you have a great have a great day evening afternoon morning and i will see you all back here tomorrow take care My heart